Welcome back, Bobcat Nation. SK is here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. We are now 4-1, picking up a big close win against Oregon State last week. We're going to go ahead and advance the week and see what happens. Hopefully we get some recruits. It's been pretty thin this year. It is very... It's really crazy how much competition there are for certain recruits. We've been locked out more this year than we ever have before. It is making me a little nervous because we have a lot of elder players that we need to really fill some spots. So we'll just see what opens up and develops. But let's go to week seven and see what's going to happen with our ranking and all that other good stuff. All right. Recruiting took care of that. We've got a big game. We have moved up to number 14 in the top 25 somehow. I was shocked by that. I guess the win over Oregon State was big. This week we get to play host to Oregon, who is 3-1. and one. It says comfort zone. Texas State gets ready to throw down with Oregon. I don't know how comfortable that'll be. It looks like Herbie's picking us. We're 1-1 one one in conference. This is their first uh, conference game. They've got a better overall rating. We've got the better offense. They've got the better defense. Like, they score a lot of points per game as well. Their uniforms are usually flashier. They're ninth in the nation in total offense, 11th in rush offense. So they're going to run the ball a lot, which that's one of our strong suits is stopping that. We're back to number one. We'll just have to see how that goes. We have kind of faced some decent opponents, especially those last two games. 5-0, and USC is now number nine in the country. Oregon State is 4-1. and Let's see who Oregon's played. Two and two, three and two. They played Tennessee. That's not bad. But the other, the other teams are pretty weak. So we'll be their first test of the year. We'll just have to see what's going on. Uh, Brian Jones looking really good after that last game. He did have two interceptions. Their quarterback looks like he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Only one interception. I don't see a lot of touchdowns from the rushers. So that's interesting to see. They've scored a lot of points, but I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, right here you can see a two-point advantage for them overall. We have a big advantage on offense. Their defense has a big advantage, so this is going to be a big game. All right, so we got a stat line here, so you can see this. We've got three prospects today, and they are highly ranked. Uh, Josh Green would like to see a rush for over 100 yards. I know that could be possible. Uh, Charles Taylor would also like that. He'd also like to see pass for over 250 yards. That would be nice. Now, Reggie Bean, he's the number one defensive tackle in the country, a five-star prospect. If we could get him, that would be a big deal. He wants three sacks, though. That's going to be kind of tough. We've not really got across to the quarterback here in the last few games, but we'll just have to see what's going to happen. Looks like their kicker is their highest-ranked player, followed by a wide receiver and a safety. That's interesting. So we'll have to pay attention where Horn is out on the field. Uh, let's go down. Let's see if there's any injuries. Oh, they got a lot of people. Their center is out for two weeks. Broken ankle, linebacker. So they're down two linebackers. Took a nice day. Our faces are not all rendering. There we go. Brian Jones. His beard sometimes doesn't show up. Some nice white uniforms for the Ducks. There's Coach Cogquest. He's been running some miles, you can tell. Spinning down here. Lots of green made this trip down from Eugene. They're in San Marcos now, play, taking on the Bobcats of Texas State. We'll have to see what gives here. Here come the Bobcats out on the field. It's good to be home finally again for our first home uh, Pac-12 game. We get to hear our home crowd, our home fans, and our home band. That song right there playing is nice to hear. And I'm glad the Maroon Gold and Coach Conquest are here to welcome the home fans to a Pac-12 game. Hopefully, we've already got our first Pac-12 win. We can get another one here against the Ducks of Oregon. We're here at Bobcats Stadium. Number 14 ranked Texas State, not to be taken lightly, is going to take on Oregon, who has a much better pedigree than we do. Go down to the field and get it started. All right, we won the toss. We deferred, so we're going to put our defense out there and let them get started. Deep kick here by Carter. House will kneel down. We'll start this game at the 20. All right, we go first down here. First play from scrimmage. They're already uh, loaded up that one side. They're going to do a quick throw. Booth comes over and puts a big hit on him. He will get eight yards on it, though. Oh, they're going to go hurry up. Taking it two here. They hurried to the line. And they change it all up. And that's going to be a big run there. 11 yards by Chris Foster. 
So first and 10 again. Oregon, they run back up to the line and then they got to send in the call. So this is interesting. Jones goes in motion. Oh, and there's a big hit by Randy Booth and that's a loss of two. So there's one of those tackle for losses we needed to get. Oregon loading up that left side. Quarterback's running. They're going to get him and pull him down, but he'll get eight yards, so that'll make it third and short. Mario Moore, the quarterback. Big play here, third and four. You don't want Oregon to get something to go in here at the start. That's a little screen. Manning's out there. Manning's going to take him down, and it's not going to work. Fourth and third. TJ Manning will break that up and force the fourth down. The punt squad comes out for Oregon. That's going to go. Kennery is going to let that one bounce into the end zone. And they'll start on the 20. Here comes John McCoy. 110 yards last game. One touchdown and that nail biter against Oregon State. Oregon defense spreads out here. First and 10. It's a run, and McCoy's got, oh, McCoy took a hit, but he'll get nine yards on that first play. Good run there on the draw. Coach Conquest said they've been working on that new playbook. We'll see what happens here. Another big run, McCoy, McCoy through, McCoy pushing, McCoy around the edge. 11 yards on that one as he churns the legs up the field. First and 10 here. He's going to throw it. He's going to hit Kennery. Kennery. Kennery breaks through. Kennery is up to the 35, it looks like. 24 yards on the catch. And Jones just sniped that one through. There was defenders around Kennery, but it was perfectly placed. He shrugs off a tackle. And then help come to stop him. First and 10 here. Oh, it looks like a little screen. McCoy's, McCoy's got people around him. McCoy will push through. He'll get one yard on the screen. They get a nine here. Oh, he's gonna go deep for this one, and it's off the defender's hands. Brian Jones just hit put enough under it. Third and nine here. Jones will deliver. Darnell Brown. Daryl Brown, I did it again. Daryl Brown, 19 yards in the first down. Nice little slant run there for him. Actually, a little rounded one, and Brian Jones just put it out ahead of him, and the defender just couldn't keep up with him. Daryl Brown really coming into his own here lately. The sophomore out of Caribou, Maine. First and 10 here, 337 in the first. It's a run, waiting for the play to develop. He's looking for a block. McCoy didn't get it. He'll still get six yards on that. Couldn't turn the edge for the touchdown. That'll make it second and four. I get it four here. And Burnett, oh, it's knocked out of his hands. He had it for just a second, but good coverage on that. Everybody else was covered. I don't think he was the initial receiver. Third and four here. McCoy goes in motion. He's going to throw it over to McCoy. McCoy is going to go out of bounds. It's fourth and one. What do you do here? Coach Conquest is elected to go for this. This is dangerous. McCoy is going to not get it. They said he had a yard, but he does not get the first down. And so Oregon holds fast, but they'll have the whole length of the field to go. The crowd coming alive here. Not a lot of people agreed with that mark on the ball, but here we are. Cobb goes in motion. And that's going to be a big stop there. No gain. Second and 10 now. Oregon changing the play. It's a screen, but they get to him, and that's going to be a sack and a safety. J.D. Carter, I believe, on the safety tackle. And Oregon will have to punt it off. Well, here's the punt. Denman going to get this one. And Texas State, Denman will come down. He'll get 11 yards on the punt. What a play there. And it's a weird 2-0 score. We've not seen this one for a while. 
First and ten. Oh, and that one's going to be picked off. The receiver, it was like he just didn't turn back in time. And Texas State gives it right back. And in this 2 nothing game with two minutes to go, Oregon's going to have a chance at it. I heard Coach Conquest on the sideline yelling, what are you doing? The Brian Jones not happy at all about what his quarterback just did with the ball. Oh, my God, this is a big run, and he's going to slide in. Big gain on the quarterback keeper. I don't know if that's a busted play or design, but Moore picks up big yardage. Bob goes in motion. And they're going to let him get through, and he's going to be brought down. Five-yard gain on the play. Like TJ Manning there. Second and five here. Different play coming in. Oh, and he's got, what is going on with my players and their ability to turn right now? Bad cutting all around, 12-yard gain. And it's now first and goal. Oregon going to try to jump on top. And that's a big group of Bobcats that jumped on him. He'll still get five yards, though, second and goal. And they'll bring him down there. Loss on the play, third and goal. Texas State can hold here. This would be a good one. Three to the line. Lots of coverage out there. They're trying to cover that middle. And he's going to be wide open in the end zone, and that's going to be six. Oregon scores off the Brian Jones mistake. It's probably going to be seven to two here. And the Duck is very happy. Coverage was there. I don't know how he got open. There was two guys on him when the play started. It's just like they disappeared. USC trailing this week to Colorado, another team that's sub 500. The Oregon Ducks has lined up for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Like this one's gonna go to Denman. Uh, it's gonna go in the uh, end zone. So touchback. Oregon Ducks defense. That interception's the difference in the game. Seven two right now. First and 10, 53 seconds. McCoy hitting the backfield. McCoy still up. McCoy. No gain. Stayed back in the line somehow. Second and 10 here. Dangerous throw it. Brown again. Daryl Brown makes the catch. And that's going to give him some breathing room. What a catch and double coverage. He goes up for it, and he took the hit, but nice play, young man. 17 seconds left, first to 10 here. And there's a throw, Kennery makes the catch, and Kennery's across midfield, and that's 16 yards. And that'll probably run out the first quarter. The first quarter comes to an end, and a weird score here, Oregon seven, Texas State two. We start the second quarter with Texas State pushing toward the end zone. First and 10 here. McCoy will go in motion. There's a throw. Roberson's going to make the catch. He churns, but they're not going to give him the first down. It's a little short, but a good catch there. Good design play. Spread everybody out. Roberson, Brown, Kennery, Burnett out there. McCoy in the backfield. It's a handout up the middle. McCoy, and he'll get the one yard for the first down. He didn't get that earlier. First to 10 here. And Brown, another big catch. Nine yards. Brown really been picking it up, like I said earlier, but the legs, he's just picked up some speed this season. I get it one now. It's a handoff. McCoy will row through four yards, first down. First and 10 here. He's going to swing it out to McCoy. McCoy, oh, and that's a high tap. Uh oh, McCoy looked hurt on that play. Holding offense. What? No face mask, no hitting. A tr Kennery gets called for holding. Still first down. And that will back him up, and that may be a disaster of a play. Roger, Roger. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. 
And, and Thomas is out there for this play. And there's a nice play to Kennery. Kennery's going to pick up a lot of that yardage. 16. Going to make it second and four. Nice little out route by Brad Kennery. So the report from the sidelines is back spasms for McCoy. He will be back. Here's a handoff. They're going for Thomas. Thomas trying to get around. Thomas. Thomas trying. He hits the pylon. They don't give him the touchdown. How does he not get the touchdown there? That was a nice, tough run. John McCoy is a minor injury. We'll return to the game later, but would you like to keep playing him now? They're, no. Sub in this dude. The first and goal here. Thomas just going to have to take over for a little bit. Here's the handoff. Good run, and Thomas is in there, and Texas State will take the lead back. Nice little run to the left. Good blocking up front. The smart call here. They're going to try to go for two to make it a three-point game. Jones delivers, and it's knocked down. He was trying to get to Johnny Walker, but Walker took the wrong path. And it's going to be an 8-7 game here. 4.50 left till half. Carter launches that one's going to clip the end zone. We'll see if they bring it out. They do. Sparks on motion. Close game so far. Yardage a little lopsided, but Oregon has not had to go as far because of the turnover. Oregon sends three to the left, one to the right. They're going to fake the handoff. And he's going to get around Melton. And he's brought down finally by J.D. Carter. We had a quarterback spy on that, but they just disappeared somehow. We go to first and ten now after that play. And he's going to just fly through the line and another first down. For a team that's so good at stopping the rush, we're sucking at it today. Three to the left again, one to the right. They hit him in the backfield. Oh, and Randy Booth comes up and just decleats him. That'll make it second and eight. They go three to the right now, one to the left. They almost got to him. Oh, and he's going to throw down Melton, and this is dangerous. And he's still on his feet. And they finally push him out at, like, the two-yard line, and that's going to make it first and goal. Oregon taking advantage. First and goal. First and goal here. Dire situation for Texas State. And that's, oh, J.D. Carter will stop that from happening. The second and goal now. Clock running. Split the wide receivers this time. And the quarterback's going to keep it, and Cameron can't get to him in time. And Oregon, Mario Moore just dominating this game. Thirteen to eight now. Going to be fourteen to eight. Number eighty-eight, deep to return. Henry going to get this one in the back of the end zone. You know he's going to bring it out. Henry, oh, he got hit bad. Twenty-six yards though. First and ten here. Oh, where was? Why did he stop running his route? Jones got hit and delivered it, but the receiver just quit. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten here. There's a nice throw. Brown again. Brown pushing through 15 yards on the catch. He has been the go-to man the last couple of games. Slot routes seem to be making big money, not the breaking long. Corners are too tough in the Pac-12. Rock running. 315, plenty of time. McCoy tries to push through. He'll get a couple, nothing more. That's good for a gain of one yard. Second and eight here. Jones goes deep. Burnett comes down with it. Big catch there. 
Sean Burnett, you know he sometimes goes up for those 50-50 balls, and he's going to come down with them most of the time. Jones just threw it out there, hoped for the best, and Burnett just pulls it away from the defender. Nice catch. Like they're building a screen again. They go to McCoy again. McCoy, McCoy looking. Couldn't make anything. It's another yard for the screen. Just not working today against Oregon. They're too fast. Ryan Jones changing it at the play at scrimmage. And he'll hit Kennery. 14 yards. Saw a little hole. They're marching close. Two minutes. First and 10 here. McCoy goes in motion. And there's a throw. Roberson makes the catch. Nice play. He shred his man. 16 yards, and it's first and goal now. What a move there on the corner. Just left him. And Jones slings it as soon as he saw that. Thomas still out there as running back. You've got Brown, Kennery, Denman, Burnett. They're going to go for a run up the middle. Thomas! He pushes up. It may be pretty good here to let some time come off the clock. Second and goal now. One to go. And they give it to Lee, and Dylan Lee, the fullback, pushes it in. You got to love it when a fullback gets a touchdown. And he's ecstatic. Look at the big man. And that ties this game up. Carter puts the extra point through, and Texas State will lead 15-14. Michigan State trailing right now, another top-ranked team. Carter launches that one. It's going to go deep in the end zone. House will kneel. One minute exactly to go till halftime. Texas State gets the ball back after half. Their defense needs to hold. First and 10 here. And he's wide open. And he's still up. No, he goes down 16 yards for John Jones. Timeout call, 55 seconds. Talked about one of the recruits wanted to see some pressure on the cornerback today. It's just not happening. Oh, Hughes got there, but they don't get the play. And he's still on his feet. Benson trying to pull him down. And finally, but that is a big game. 14 more yards. Another timeout called. First down. First and 10 here. Tight end goes out. And there's TJ Manning, and he'll pull him down, and there's a sack. They needed that one. And he's going to hit him again. Fields is going to pull him down, though. And that is another sack. Two sacks in a row. Oregon starting to panic here. 24 seconds left. They're not even in field goal range. And there's another. Oh, God, he fell down. Boost going to knock him out of bounds. 18 seconds. It's fourth down. What are they going to do? A long field goal attempt here with 18 seconds. That was abysmal play calling by Oregon. And the field goal is going to curve. Bruh. And it hits the upright. And it's going to remain 15-14. He doinked that one. It tried its best to come back. Just not enough. The Texas State has some chance here. They go out empty backfield. They can get it for a maybe a field goal. And they're going to hit Chuck Denman. And Chuck Denman's going to run. And Chuck Denman is up there. They're going to call a timeout. That may be in field goal range. They may have time for another play. Nine seconds left. They settle in. And he's going to hit Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. And he's in there. And that will definitely be good enough for the field goal here. David Carter comes out. And the field goes up and, oh, he misses it. David Carter, the freshman. It looked like it was lined up perfectly and he goes wide right. What is going on today? They come out and looks like the prevent. One second left and they're just gonna run it. And Manning will pull him down. Now to take us to halftime. That was a crazy half. Look at that score. 15-14. Texas State leads.
I can't even imagine what we'll have next. All right, we start the second half. This has been a crazy game. This one's going to Kennery. It's going to be deep. No, it's not. It's going to be over his head. We'd obviously love to see some scoring here to separate this game a little bit. Jones hurried. Brown, another tough catch. That's going to be good for nine yards. The pressure was there. But Jones got it out of his hands quickly. Second and one here. Hand off. McCoy back in there. McCoy up the middle, and that's a tough run. Nine yards. He must have massaged those spasms out. Like Lee, Thomas, McCoy all back there in the back. What do they got planned? It's a run. They smoothed that one out. One yard loss on the play. Second 11. And there's a throw. Burnett up the middle. Burnett. Burnett. Oh, he couldn't stay up. 38 yards. Another big catch. And Brian Jones just stripes him. Look at that. Just on the run up the middle. Nobody was around him. Only thing that stopped him was his own feet. He's excited about that. 10 here. Looks like a counter play. McCoy pushes up the middle. Six yards. Second and four here. Oh, big run. McCoy up the middle. McCoy pushes. 10 yards. It's first and goal. Three to the left. One to the right. And it's a handoff. And Thomas goes in for the touchdown. So they're having a sub double duty here to try to give a rest. McCoy's hurt just a little bit. So Thomas goes in. It's a seven point game now. That safety showing its difference because now it's going to be an eight point game. And Michigan State has brought it within one. Nebraska holding on here. Three, third quarter action. Carter launches the kickoff here. Texas State fans feeling really good now. Their defense needs to come out and do something. House will kneel down. Oh, and he's going to throw that out. We had the quarterback spy waiting for him, but there was no chance. That's the first incomplete pass of more. And he's going to run, and he gets knocked down. There's a flag on the play, but holding. There we go. We're going to decline that and take the sack so that we'll get that recruit goal. And their coach is not happy about that, but can't do anything for it. Third and 14 here. This is an important down. They're pushing on him. And they'll stop it. It's going to be fourth down. It's going to force the punt. Good coverage by the Bobcats. 420 left in the third. Hunt team comes out for Oregon. He went for the block. Henry back there by himself. You know he's not going to be scared about that. Henry spinning around. Henry gets up near midfield. 20 yards. Good field position for the Bobcats. They could extend the lead here. First and 10. And there's a throw. And Burnett's going to make that catch 19 yards. He was out there all by himself, and they just gave him way too much space, and he'll take it. He's too big of a dude. Three guys have to converge on him. Three to the left, one to the right here. McCoy in the backfield. It's a draw. McCoy needed the block. He doesn't get it. He'll get one yard on it. They get a nine here. It's almost picked off. Bad play call there. Bad pass. Third and nine here. Jones just going deep. And it's almost picked off. He was hit in the back. I don't think he got all of that one thrown before he took the hit. Big decision here. Which Conquest going to gamble here? Fourth and nine. That is almost picked off. A bad throw. Brian Jones seems like when he's under pressure. He just doesn't put it where it needs to go, and it's going to fall back. Donnie Walker was out there, but 
He threw it to the biggest dude on the field. Hands should not even have been an option there. Walker, if he would have just waited. Added pressure goes on to the Bobcat defense. And J.D. Carter's going to wrap him up, a gain of four yards. Jorgen hurries to get back to the line. They call their play in. Oh, and he runs backwards, and he'll only get one yard on that. So third and five. Big play here again. Another third down. And they get through and they hit him. Oh, and Morris! Morris, he was there on the coverage, and he lets Hines make the catch. First down. That legit makes me sick. We had the quarterback hit. Oh, we got him there. And we're going to pull him down for a big loss. Nine yards on the sack. Got hit once. It actually may count as a rush if he ran out of the pocket. Just a tackle for loss. Texas State starting to feed off the crowd. And they come back, and Randy Booth gets him iron. There's another sack. Those recruits got to be excited to be watching this. Third and 24. Oregon going the wrong way here. Third and 24. You don't want to give them anything big. They threw a little screen route, and that's definitely not going to be enough. They'll get three yards on it, and that will force a punt, I believe. Going toward the sideline. Kennery waiting for it. Kennery looking for blocks. Kennery waiting. He's patient. Doesn't get anything, and he'll just kneel down five yards. First down here. Start of this, and there's a big opening over there. McCoy. McCoy had an opening, but it looked like he jumped back inside. Probably should have went on the outside edge. Seven yards, though. Second three. McCoy straight up the middle. McCoy tries to stay on his feet, and that's 11 more yards. Probably the last play of the third court period. Excuse me, McCoy, McCoy rolling around. McCoy still digging. Tough running by him today. And that's eight more yards, and that will run out the clock. So Texas State with an eight-point lead as we go into the fourth and final quarter here. They're 14th ranked on the line. Oregon trying to stop them. We'll see what Brian Jones can come up with today. Fans are believing. Give him two here. He is going to, McCoy will go around, and they give him the first down on that. So the clock will run. Really looks like the Coach Conquest is applying the principle of wearing them down right now. And there's another big run. McCoy, McCoy spinning around. McCoy just trampling him. And there's 12 more yards for John McCoy. And he hits 100. But I think it's like 99 point something. First down play. Another big block. And McCoy, oh, he got cut down there. But he'll get five more yards. That will definitely put him over the 100 mark. Good blocks there. 63, Joe Jones, the junior from Bowling Brook, Illinois. But John McCoy is the news right now from Dallas, Texas, the senior. All of a sudden, they come out with an empty backfield here. And that's a throw in Chuck Dinman. What a play. I think the defense was confused. They were so used to the run, and they just lobbed that over. Another run play. Good block, and McCoy cuts back to the right, and that's six more yards. He's just chewing them up and chewing up the clock. Tough running from this kid today. Taking it four. McCoy will leave. And they're looking in Roberson. Roberson with the catch. I think they thought that Thomas was going to run there. And the defense left them open. First and goal now. And there is a draw play. McCoy knocked down, though. He'll lose two on that. That is a loss of two yards. Up second and goal. Oh no, McCoy's hurt. McCoy's hurt bad. Trainers had to go out to the field. 
So a very serious issue develops. John McCoy goes down for the second time today. Trainers had to be called out. Thomas is in. Darren Thomas, the sophomore from Middleton, Wisconsin. Incomplete pass. That's going to lead to probably a field goal. So they'll still have a 11-point lead if they make it. Sprained wrist for John McCoy. He's out for a quarter. I think we'll just sub in. Let Thomas run. Let's see if the freshman could put this one through the uprights. And he does, and that will extend the lead. So we wasted a lot of the quarter. We've got the lead. Defense is playing decent. Ole Miss gets routed in Auburn. And they're no longer going to be number three. So many ranked teams are losing this season. What is even going on? Carter launches this one to the left. It's going to go in the end zone. We'll see what happens here. Is Sparks going to bring it back? No, he's going to kneel down. 223 left in the game. Texas State has five sacks today. No interceptions, no fumbles, no pass breakups, but Oregon has been there. By Coach Conquest, made some adjustments after half. They have been getting pressed. Oh, and that was almost a pick, but instead it's a tackle. Who was that? Was that Troy Cameron? Second and five now. Oregon trying to push down. They need a quick score. They need anything. A field goal or a touchdown will work. And that's going to be a good play. Oh, my God. Randy Booth is just laying the meat to people this year. 11 yards, though. That's a throw. They get it out of bounds. Seven yards on the play. A minute 54 left in the game. Second and third now. Empty backfield. There's a flag on the field. It's got to be offsides on me because the camera spun around and I went. Offside. Defense. Hines makes the reception. Gain of 11 yards. First to 10 here, minute 50 left. Oh, Hughes got through. Morris! What are you doing? Again, that's two times that Morris has let that happen. Anthony Morris. That one's thrown out of bounds. Only the second incompletion of the day for Mario Moore, believe it or not. Like Texas State comes out in some kind of zone. It's a screen. Morris again lets him get through. We're going to have to work on that, dude. Hughes comes over, makes the tackle. Nine yards, 31. Clock is ticking. And what a what a broken play of defense that was. Nobody covers him. Wide open, wide receiver. And they may go for two here to make it a three-point game. That's exactly what they're doing. Empty backfield, so they're going to throw. He's got all day. And White's going to pull him down, and he's not going to get in there. 119 left. They are going for the onside kick. Texas State needs to fall on this. And Roberson's going to get it. And he's going to get down, and that's going to maybe be the game. Lots of timeouts, though, for Oregon. Texas State will need to get one first down. This has been a really good game. Here's the handoff. Thomas, Thomas trying to get through. Thomas gets five yards. Timeout is called by Oregon. Good run there. Thomas going to have to finish this game out. Not known for his speed up the middle. Let's see what they can do here. A first down will probably win it. Thomas on the outside. Thomas. He's hit. He'll get two yards, so it's second and three. Another timeout called. There's third down, three. Thomas. Thomas hitting the backfield, and he is knocked down. So a minute eight. What will Conquest do? Coach Conquest going to go for it. Fourth and three. And he's going to hit Kennery. That's the first down, and that's probably going to be your game. No timeouts, and the Duck knows it. Henry makes a big catch. And that's going to be the game. Texas State has held on. 
They will beat Oregon and pick up their second win in the Pac-12. A final score here, 25-20. Big game. Darren Thomas is your player of the game with the two touchdowns. He did have to come in and score when McCoy got beat up a little bit. I did not expect him to take the player of the game, but it was funny. Lots of yardage pass-wise, but no touchdowns for Brian Jones. And 14th ranked Texas State Bobcats will hold on here at home. That safety early on really changed the tone of the game, but Oregon battled back. Good game all around. 25-20 here in San Marcos. Looking at the player stats, we'll start with Brian Jones, 22 for 30. He had one interception, 73%. The guy's accurate, 335 yards. It's just when we got close, we had to run it in. Uh, I don't know. We got to get him some more touchdowns this year and next year. John McCoy, big hero. I think we did come up short of getting our 150 yards rushing for the one players. Kind of hurts my feelings. Uh, we were on track to probably get that until McCoy got hurt there at the end. Uh, 109 yards by McCoy, 33 by Thomas. Dylan Lee had that one touchdown, so good for him. Good to see the junior. He come on from North Dakota all the way down here, and we give him a touchdown in return. Lots of receivers again. This new offense really bringing them into the fold. Daryl Brown, 73 yards on five receptions. Kennery, 80 on five. That big one there at the end. Roberson, 35 on three. 88 on three for Burnett. McCoy had five yards on three catches. Chuck Denman, two catches for 34. And then Johnny Walker had a quiet 20-yard catch. TJ Manning, big timing at the day. Nine tackles, three for a loss, and a sack. Randy Booth, six solo tackles. He had a couple of big hits there. He'll also have a sack. Cameron and Carter, four tackles. Benson, another sack. Darius Field, the junior, or the, excuse me, the senior from Fort Stockton will get two sacks. So lots of sacks all around today. We'll make those defensive players happy. We need to recruit them indeed. David Carter, the freshman, he missed that early one. People were kind of worried about that, but he will come back and bang in the second one, which would be kind of the difference of the game aside from the safety. Uh, we've got to develop him. He'll be fine. Coach Conquest has leveled to level 22, and offensive coordinator Chad Dorsey is 18. That's a big deal. We'll have to take a look at the XP trees, or the skill trees, excuse me. Put that in. I already put the OC point in before the game. It's just now telling us that. I put that over here in Bulldozer to help our offensive line, and it looked like it did work that game. But what are we going to do for Conquest? Is there something big we get? Insta commit level two, 10% chance when we offer scholarship. We've not got any of these left. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to put that point into that. It's stupid not to. Hopefully some of these players, we can bring them in quicker. 10% is a big deal. Squeaker. That's two weeks in a row. Let's give us this. The Bobcats inch past Oregon 25-20. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next week just to see what happens uh, on this one to give you all a little sneak peek so we can see what our ranking does and how life's going. There you go. That sets the tone for next week. We are up to number 11 at 5-1. and one. Probably inflated because we're probably going to be on big time TV. We will be taking on the undefeated, number 7th ranked, UCLA Bruins. It says it down there right there. Big game time. Number 11, Texas State versus number 7, UCLA. Tops the list of big games this weekend. We are prime time television for week 8. I will say, though, our recruiting has been abysmal. We have got locked out. I'll go in here and let you all just look at this. You're probably going to see a lot of locked out things. We are just not getting some of these players that we want. We're in the lead for some of them, and we're really close on others. But uh, as for some of these guys, oh, Anthony Smith, you know, we may pick him up just offered him a scholarship. No, it didn't work. Um, <laughs> that was a lot of buildup. Kevin Randall, Randall, I really wanted him, but uh, looks like he wants to go to Tulane. He is from Louisiana. We're going to have to definitely look for some guards. Uh, we'll remove him. We've got some other these athletes. It's, we're so far behind now, we're not going to get them. All oh, these athletes that locked us out, there was no way. I'm just going to go ahead and remove them. What I'm going to have to do is go through here and look for 
some players who are available. I think I added these earlier in the year just to see, because I thought, honestly, being in the Pac-12, we would be able to recruit some players faster. It's just not happening. Um, I'm not sure what's going to go on. I've not offered a scholarship to any of these guys. Maybe we should try just to see if we uh, get an Insta commit or something. Um, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Sad times all around, but we have lost a number of players to Georgia Tech. We've only got one commit this year. We did get a 74 overall pocket passer quarterback, Eric Williams. Um, but other than that, we have not filled any of the needs. We need some tackles, and we need them in the worst way. And uh, I'm not talking about defensive tackles. I'm talking about offensive tackles and guards around our quarterback. And uh, that's something I'm going to have to go out and hunt. Maybe we'll have to get some low-level fruit and develop it. Um, but that is kind of where we're at because our needs, we need two right tackles and a left tackle and a, either a guard or a center. Um, so it's kind of a scary thing. That's why I was going after Randy Wiley so quick. Um, I don't know if he's ready to come visit us yet. Oh, he's coming in week 15. So we'll get a big bonus for that. Uh, we've got some of these other guys, 1100 for the visit on Charles Taylor. Did that help us out any? We are in the lead now, so hopefully we can get him. I don't know how close he is to wanting to come here, but uh, it looks like uh, we did help our cause an awful lot. I guess he'll make a decision at the end of the year since everybody's up there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what happened there, but just going down through here, we're still waiting for some others wanting to visit. We've got some others that are ready to visit. Oh, here we go. We want him to come during UCLA or Arizona State. I'm thinking maybe Utah so that we can get a lot of points and uh, maybe make him happy. Same for this dude. Uh, we will bring him in during Arizona State. I think that'd be better because this is going to be a tough game against UCLA. The athletes. Yeah, you can come in during Utah and uh, just go from there. But uh, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, we've got a couple of these 68, so I'll have to work on them and see what we can get. But we will do that next episode. But anyway, I hope you all are enjoying the series. We've, we're approaching, I think, 70, if not already there, episodes of this. And I really love the direction the program's going. We've having our ups and downs that USC was a setback. I've not even looked to see, but when we start the next episode, we'll see what the top 25 is. we got a big game. We're obviously the big one. Everybody's going to be watching us. So hopefully that will help us in recruiting. But for you all, hope you hit the like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button if you have not. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. I will see you all next time. Good night, everybody.